In this episode of Brutal Mode, we get an interesting proposition from the bandits who we're fighting, and we begin construction on a huge cargo hub to transport all of our important resources in one huge train. It's going to be awesome. Hello everybody, my name's Hoshi and welcome back to Brutal Mode. Now, in the previous episode, we sent our army to attack Mount Victory and the gang within. Now, what's happened is I put a vote on my channel that asked what should happen next, and you guys answered this. So currently our army have penetrated the wall. They have captured a small area of land within the town. However, the gang have us completely surrounded here. So I guess we'll just let our army do its thing and we'll come back to it later in this video where you can choose what happens next. But first, let's get back to the industrial side. It's an interesting one. As you can see, we don't have that much money and we are losing quite a lot of money. So let's do something about it and there is one small change that I have noticed we can do immediately to make quite a bit more money. And that's going to be needed because in today's episode what we're going to be focusing on is improving infrastructure. If we go back over to West Bay you can see here that this infrastructure was built over 10 years ago. And it's literally if you look here just the one track and this is two way traffic so we can only run one train on here. It's a terrible design. It needs improving upon. And why would we want to improve this infrastructure? Well, let me tell you. Over here, you can see there is a coffee farm. And there's also a few more later down the line, but we don't need to worry about those just for now. You can also see there is a silver mill. Now, if we go over to Felicity, you can see we have a coffee refinery and we have some silver mines. So the plan is we're going to have a cargo hub over in Felicity that's going to have all the cargo we need for this area in one place and then that's going to be trucked off to the places that it needs to go. And we're going to have one main train that's going to go all the way down the line to Fancy Gap and it's going to stop here, drop off silver and it's going to pick up the coffee to take back. So it's going to hold both coffee and silver. And then when it gets to this end of the line, it's going to drop off the coffee, it's going to pick up some silver and it's going to go back. And then the trucks are going to take the coffee over here. It's pretty simple and it's very effective. But before any of that happens, we need some money. And before we get onto that, I would like to say a huge thank you for all your fantastic comments. They're so amazing to read. Honestly, keep commenting them down. It really does make my day special when I read them. And here's my top comments from the last video. Timio says, this series is amazing. And I say, thank you, Timio. It really does mean a lot because honestly, I put so much work into this and to see actually you guys enjoying it, it really does make my day. And we've also got another comment which I found quite funny, which is from Austin that says, running across an open field against walled in enemies doesn't sound like you'll win. I think a better plan would be to blockade the town. Yes, it's a very, very good idea. And like I say in the reply, I think next time I'll probably do a poll for attacking in my community tab if we ever do another battle. I'm not saying we will, I'm not saying we won't, who knows. But yeah, thanks so much for everyone's comments, guys. And if you guys want to be featured in the next video, make sure to leave a comment. So the first thing that we need to do to raise some money is going to be this oil ship, which I believe is the Zoroaster. Where is Lumpkin? Here it is. So the oil ship, Zoroaster here, is going and it's going to pick up the crude and it's currently dropping it off over at our refinery over here but as you can see we have a influx of crude oil that's been refined but it's just sitting there so what if instead we brought some crude oil that's been refined back to where we're picking up the crude oil in the first place where are we here so over here long way to go and then we get some trucks to take the refined oil over to this chemical facility that might be a plan because then it means this ship is taking a full load both way which means double the money surely let's do it so the first things first, we're going to just stop to drop off our refined. We technically do need a proper truck station for this because we are going to eventually be picking up the uh, the chemicals that it's producing. But we don't need that just yet. We can do that later. We want to save money, don't we? Because we don't have any of it at the minute. So we'll do that by getting a simple truck stop. Where are we here? Truck unload stop. Here we go. We'll put one of these down just where's the entrance on here. It's just here. Put that down there. Perfect. And on the end of this road, I'm going to grab the cheap road, a curve, and we'll just bring... Oh, that's not a cheap road. We'll bring to there. And then we'll just bring that round like that. And then we'll plug that into... Okay, a little bit to there then. And then that into there. Perfect. Just so they can turn around. That's what I want to do. Awesome stuff. We'll put a waypoint on there as well, just so we can uh, properly go around. Cool. And then on this side, we're going to need a pickup point. So we'll go to buildings and we'll grab a truck stop. 
Now this is going to be definitely an expensive one. I'm not quite sure the best place for this to be honest. Definitely not there a million. Wow. So yeah, it looks like the best spot's definitely going to be here. There's nowhere else I can really see that would be appropriate. So we'll slot this in here. I'll try and get it to a, a spot which is reasonable again. Uh, it's kind of a tricky one. Uh, can I get like a 200k? No, I guess we're going to have to do 300k in that case. Okay, not to worry. We'll grab a cheap road once more and we'll try please hook. Yes. Oh, imagine if that didn't hook up. That would have been horrible. Anyway, that's that. So we'll go to a new line from there all the way to, where are we? Over, over here to that stop just there. And then to that stop there. Perfect. And then all we need now is to name this one and color it. So make it black for fuel. And we're going to call this ref to chem one. There we go. And then one last thing to do, of course, is to make this a full load. Perfect. We'll just get the one for now because it is going to cause us a loss at the start. So we'll get one of these and we'll chuck this on to, where are we here? Ref to chem one. There it is. And then with our Zoroaster, if we find that, so we'll go over to Zoroaster, here we are. We'll click on this one and then we'll click Manage Line. And then what we can do is on the way back, we can tell this to also go to full and that should bring Refined back with it. Okay, perfect. And it's producing its first set of fuel. And that's pretty good because now that means that the ship is providing its own fuel for itself to take back. Whereas these little trucks, they are taking the fuel to the town that's needed. So it's, it's a better balance, I think. Now, that should make us some good money. We can actually go ahead and start looking at our rail infrastructure. Which, let me tell you, rail infrastructure is very expensive. Very, very expensive. So we can start by here by looking at our first port of call, which is going to be Fancy Gap. This station, let me tell you, is going to be a pain in the arse to do. We have two places we need to go to, Silver Mill and our coffee farm. So option one is to run a station to both of these. Not a good idea, let me tell you. There's a hill, all right? Not a good idea. Wouldn't be a good idea anyway running two stations when you can run one. What I am going to do, which is the other option, is have two truck stations that are going to be trucking in the silver and the coffee needed from and to the station. Now, why this is going to be a pain in the ass? Well, let me explain. This is why, because we have no room and it's right next to the ocean. But I think I've come up with a plan. And that plan is, we'll go to configure and we'll put an extra couple of tracks in just here. If we now put a platform there and there, we can also put a track in there as well as a cargo platform right there. It doesn't let us put a cargo platform here, but that's okay because we can put one just there. And if we put a track as well, just there, this means we can actually now, because we're driving on the right, we can put a, go to platforms and we can put gravel in, and then we can go to our water pipes and add a water tower just in this gravel section. And then one last thing, we need a piece of track to go there. And then now when the train pulls in, it'll pull up to the water tower and it can refuel with water. And now the last couple of things to do is to go to this here. We're going to quickly get rid of these two. We're going to go to miscellaneous and then a crossover and we'll put those in there. Nice. And that will save us money in underpass maintenance or bridge maintenance. And they'll put a couple of covers on just to keep people happy. And then now I don't want this train on this line to be crossing over where the tower is. So I'm going to build just to the end of this platform. And then now I'm going to add the switch. And that just basically means that the trains aren't going to be stopping in actual needed places like where this is, for example. Now, I know this platform isn't very long here. So for that reason, I'm going to add just one cargo building just for the extra storage. I'll put this just on the end here. And there is going to be a issue with access here. I've already thought about this. We are going to have to access this somehow, which is not great because it's a forest and then a massive, weird, funky junction it's going to go through. But we'll get to it. And then this track here can go forward into this main line here. We'll just bring it to the end of the platform so it doesn't have any issues. And then we'll bring it down here and get it nice and straight, just like that. And then we'll chuck a couple of signals on. So let's have a look here. So we're going to be driving on the right side. We need a signal there. And then now let's grab this track here and bring it all the way down here. We'll bring it just past the crossing, just past this point. And then we'll tuck it into the main line nice and neatly. One part of the line I absolutely hate that needs, needs an update is this section. I mean, look at it. We have a tiny slow train that blocks the line for so long up to this point. This express service, it's an, it's an express apparently, has to wait here for this tiny train to get past. No, horrible. We'll fix this in just a second. 
Before we leave that though, as it is a new episode, we need a new year. So let's go down here and advance the year one year forward. Let's see what we get. Anything good? Oh, why? Okay, is that a new train? Ooh, this could be good. We also have a horse-drawn streetcar, which we can import in. Ooh, hello. Let's compare it to the Class T quickly. So, 51, 157, 42... 33, 240, 78. Wow, that's very good. That's really good. So a bit on the slow side. So it's really good for freight. Wow. That, that is convenient right there. Con considering we're about to do freight, that's really convenient. We're definitely, definitely going to be using that one for the freight. Uh, right, back to it. So, over in Fancy Gap, we've got this new station, but... The train can pull in, it cannot turn around. We need a turnaround point. So first things first, let's get that out of the way. Um, how the hell are we going to do a turnaround point? I mean, I, I could try doing it here. Mm. <laughs> yeah, this is, where it's, this is where it gets tricky, folks. Uh, I suppose there is probably the only spot we have enough space. I mean, I could do it here. Not really wanting to. Um, unless... Ooh, that's an idea. So what if I bring this track, here we go, here we go. If I bring this track onto there, right? Now that's this way, so it's going to be dropping off on this angle, that's okay. And then it's going to be going down this track here. Uh, we're going to have to do a crossover, which is an unfortunate one, but it'll do. Uh, we'll bring this track out around to... Ah, wow, this is a tricky corner. So bring this one, let's say to... No, don't snap. No, don't snap. Stop. <laughs> there we go. Bring that to there. And bring that around. I'm trying to get it nice and flat, of course. Because if you go up a hill, it's brutal mode. Everything's hella expensive. You really can't be doing with that. I'll bring a tight curve, because otherwise I'll be going up a hill. And we'll bring that around. I'll try and keep it nice and straight. Obviously, I do want to try and retain speed, but I also want to keep the line nice and cheap. Bring that to there. I think that works. Okay, let's get some signals on the go then. So on the right side here, we need one there, one like that, and one like that also. And then the other side's clear. Yeah, should be pretty good for that. Okay. So now what can happen is the train can pull in, drop off its load, pull out, go in a big circle, and then go back through the station and on its merry way. That's good stuff right there. There's going to be a definite wait here when it's all going onto the one track. There's absolutely nothing I can do about that. What I can do something about and let me tell you, this is going to be a tricky one because the junction further ahead I just showed you is is a it's a real bitch to be honest with you. Uh, we're going to have to double track this section, so let's go over to the tricky bit and we can work out from there. If we go, let's get this train out the block section first. Otherwise, we're going to have issues. Let's just put a track in, like let's say across there, right? Okay, and then now we're going to have to change this over. So this track here needs to go, and then this needs to come across. That is a, a bit of an expensive one because of the hill, but we can't do much about that again. We're going to have to put some signals in though, so we'll put one there. We'll put one just there. We're going to have to put one here. There's a lot of signals on this junction. Uh, we're going to need one... Yeah, we've already got one there. That's fine. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, and then this track's going to go across... Okay, road issues. Right, we'll get rid of that then. We can always fix the road later, don't forget. We'll put that like that. And then we'll bring this. In fact, we can probably go the whole way down here. There's not going to be any issues. Uh, it's all nice and open. Luckily, no one's been developing any uh, any houses in this area. Bring this all the way. Nah, ha, 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 issue. Okay. This track here needs to go. Oops. This track to there. Uh, that house is probably going to get destroyed, which is not ideal. Yeah, it is. That's a shame. Uh, goodbye. And this is going to go to there. Uh, now we're going to need a platform before we build anymore, so tracks and then 250s in there. Let's put in there actually, let's change that to a crossover just to save an extra bit of money. I previously used these platforms, but I'm actually going to go with different ones. I'm going to go with the simple old platform this time because they are slightly cheaper and I think that's the better way to go. I will put a cover on it though just to keep them happy and they are pretty cheap to maintain the covers anyway. Uh, and then we're going to need a track in here as well, I forgot. So one in there. And then on this side, we need a platforms gravel. And we're going to need a water tower. 
And then this track can come off here and we'll just keep going with that one along the route. And I think that can go right up until here. We're gonna have to do some junction stuff. So I'll go even further and we can always edit it. So we'll go to there. Now that's going on the right side, cool. Now this isn't though, so we'll get rid of this. And then this one needs to, oh no, it's in a hill. It's gonna cost so much money. And then this one goes in there, nice. And I think, what's what's the issues here? Just road, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, if we just keep going with that, we'll get a bit more income coming in. Uh, now we get some couple of signals in. So do we need one? Yeah, put one in there. We get rid of that one just there. And that one just there. And then this now can go that one just there. Very nice. And then we need one there as well. And I think we should be good then. Now let's quickly fix this road before they all go crazy at me. Uh, I don't think this is going to connect to be honest with you at all. Uh, is it going to connect? No, okay. It's what I expected. So what we'll do is we'll get rid of these and we'll go from there. And we'll bring this across. Can we connect this with no issues? Um, you're close to no issues, but I'll take it. And then this can go along here into there, preferably with no issues. Not looking like I'm going to get that, is it? Really isn't. Okay, right. Can we go without destroying all the trees then? Kinda, sorta, I'm gonna have to quickly redo that. Cool, that's all back in, all right. And then our vehicles are working again. What's the issue now? Log to saw, ah, I see the issue. You're not doing the right thing. Okay, right, let's have a look. So going here first, that doesn't make any sense. No, go to the pickup point first. And maybe load to full? <laughs> Why did I not tick that? Don't know. Anyway, get rid of that. And then this can go to that one next to drop off. Then to that one there. And then around there, perfect. And then that, I think that's gonna go to the right place. It is, nice. And then we're gonna have to continue the line here, otherwise the passenger route's gonna go up the freight route, which is not good. Uh, so we'll go up here with this track, bring this all the way down here. Uh, how far can we go with this? Quite a long way, actually. Okay, I'll bring it all the way to the end of the line. Uh, okay, 360K, I'll take it, not ideal, but I'll take it. And then this can go into the bridge. We can't really do two way over the bridge because just bridges are so expensive, unbelievable. This signal goes on that one there. And then on the other side of the bridge, we need a two way system, which it seems we kind of have in place. Kind of, keyword. Um, this doesn't have a two way. It doesn't really need one because right here it already goes in two way anyway. Um, but I do need a signal here, which I don't have. So quick signal in there. Um, you've got a signal already, and then this one also needs a signal, which it doesn't have for some reason, and we're good. Okay, a couple of block sections in there then, and we are good for trains. Okay, and let's finish this track right here. We'll just grab this, take it to the end, and then put that in there, and then a signal to go there. Cool. Let's just double check the lines have gone the right way. They haven't. So, where are we here? I'm going to go to... Uh, West Bay Railway and then after number eight you need to go to this signal just there that's better and then the last thing we need to do is going to be this iron to steel because it's going as you can see two ways on one track we don't want that so I think it's pretty easy fix all we're gonna need to do is just get rid of that get rid of that and then go with a 50 through there to that one and we'll just make it a three tracker again I think is uh, is the solution and then this instead of going into there can go into that one if it manages to fit which I think it does yeah if it's fine and then we need a signal there okay let's have a quick check up on our boat actually let's see how much money we're we making a fair amount of money to be honest look at this let's have a look wow that's looking like pretty good money. That's like double what we were getting. So proper happy with that one. Nice. Uh, one thing we need to do actually is we don't have enough on here, do we? That's a, I completely skipped my mind that one. Let's clone these vehicles. If I just press clone a few times, I think I'm going to get 10 of these and then maybe that should be enough. We'll, we'll see. We'll come back to it in a little bit, but I think that is pretty good for the most part. Come to think of it, actually, there is quite a distance to go. So I'm actually going to just go ahead and double these. Um, yeah, probably, probably a good call. The first time we've seen a train pass over these carts going through the tunnel. That's pretty awesome. Now, freight lines are going to need trains to operate on them. So this is why I've brought back the General and the D-13 to the depot. 
where we can repurpose these as freight trains. And a great thing is we already have lots and lots of stock of boxcars. I don't know how we managed to get this many boxcars, but we've got 10 on this train going back. And we also have 8 in storage, so I've, uh, it's lucky we need those for coffee. <laughs> okay, so the last thing we need to do to finish off is to connect our coffee, our tools, and our silver to Felicity with lines. So, let's have a look at Felicity Station. Now, Felicity Station, I figure, could be okay for now, as having this side be cargo and this side be passenger. I think that makes sense. So I'll quickly set that up. Shouldn't take too long at all to do. We'll grab a cargo platform, stick it in there, and stick it in there. And we're gonna need as well to get rid of that and make that a 50 in there. And then we'll put on platforms a gravel platform and we'll get a water tower as well, put that on there. Uh, we're going to need a cargo building, aren't we? So we'll go to cargo buildings. I'm going to grab just a medium sized building. It doesn't have to be huge. And we'll put that on there like that. There we go. And I'm going to make the platform just a little bit longer, actually. I think we can afford to do it because we do have the space this time, luckily. So we'll put a platform there. Uh, I could maybe put one there. Uh, 100k, yeah, I'll go for it. Okay, uh, and then we'll get rid of that and that. We'll put a 50 in there as well. So there we go, very nice. And then hook this back up, of course. So let's think about silver, right? So we're picking up from silver. I'm not quite sure how it maybe like turn around there, possibly. That would work. Okay, yeah, let's think about that. So if we go down here, we're going to go around here. Now, at this point here, we need to turn around. So I'm thinking if we get a uh, a cargo station, we'll make it 80 meters. So it's not going to be a long one, uh, but I think it should be okay for now at least. We are going to have to upgrade stuff in, in the future, of course. Put that on there and then we'll go tracks and bring that around like that. And then this can go onto that one. And that's going to come all the way down there and go into that track as well. Uh, it is obviously just the one track, it does need to be two tracks eventually, like we all double track it very soon I'm sure. Uh, now that one's hooked up, that can go all the way down here, and then when it gets to this point, it's going to go down this track and then split off, it's going to have to split off on that side isn't it, so we'll grab a track and bring that, on. oh it's a, it's a slip switch isn't it, yeah, that's fine. And then that comes down here onto here, it's going to stop there, drop off, fine, and then to turn around it needs to go along, let's say along here, and then it's going to go across there's a hill there. Be nice if I could avoid that. Can we go... Okay, we'll go from here then. No. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Is it going to let me? There we go, okay. Go around there. It's a little bit cheaper when I don't go over the hill like that. So we'll just go towards this sort of direction like that. And then what, what I'll do, if I can hook this around onto this track somehow, like we'll put it on here. That's quite a price. Why is it so... Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Okay, no. What we'll do, we'll bring that to about there. Because we can probably save quite a bit of money if we do this, if we just stay away from the hills. Uh, 29k, yeah, that's fine. Just keep it nice and flat where I can. And uh, we should be alright. And then we'll connect that to there. 57k, 60k. I'm going to go with the 60k just because we get like sort of a, a more smoother thing on it. Uh, and then we don't actually need a signal here because there's nothing running on here just yet. But I will put one on there. Oh, and I, and I will also put one on this one. Uh, like I said, there's nothing on here just yet, but it, it's always nice to have the option. And then for tracks, we're going to need to... Oh, is it going to fit? Oh, God. It is barely going to fit, but it's, it's a tight corner. Uh, this signal needs to move back in that case. So this signal goes to there. Uh, then this signal needs to go as well. One there. And probably one there as well, come to think of it. Okie dokie, there we go, that's fine. And then we'll get one signal all the way over here, going on the exit. So one there as well. And then that's silver set up. Okay, so next up we're going to look at the tools. So how are we going to carry tools back, I wonder? Hmm. We have this infrastructure here which is already pre-established. So we could use this again, I suppose. There's nothing using it right now. Run through this tunnel here and it's going to go back through there onto this side of the track it would have to turn around um perhaps it could run down a different track perhaps it could go down that track some and then maybe connect onto here um it's not a terrible idea like if it just came across here and went into there instead that might work and then come back around i don't see why that wouldn't work to be honest with you 
I'm not sure if it'd be cheaper to double track because it's on a bit of an incline, so it's probably cheaper to not do that and just turn it around. Uh, in the future, though, definitely a good idea. So that's going to come through here. It, is it going to cross over? It, it does cross over. Okay, in that case, this should have a signal. I don't know why that doesn't have a signal there. Oops. And then I could bring it off here, I suppose. We get a 50. Bring it off there like that. And then spin that round. Yeah, there we go. Going over an oil patch, which might have to dig this up later. Uh, then we're going back this way. Yeah, that works. Into there. Okie dokie. There we go. Now, I just need a couple of signals, and that's that done. Pretty simple one, that one. So getting very complex, these junctions, aren't they? They're going to be a mess, I tell you, in a few episodes. <laughs> um, okay, that's fine. And then uh, last one is going to be coffee. So we'll go over to coffee. Is this going to be a real one? I'm not sure if it is or not, to be honest with you. Uh, is this a one? Yeah, it's a one tracker. So probably not going to be a rail route because it'll be a high setup cost because there's a lot of bridges and stuff going on here. Uh, probably going to be a road one, so we'll bring it over with the road and we're going to drop it off on here. So we're going to need a road behind here, so we'll get a cheap road. The The beauty of it, you can get a cheap road and the, the town's people will actually upgrade it for you because it's in their town, like a part of their town. Genius. Uh, anyway, we'll plug that in there and then that. I don't really want to destroy that house to be honest with you, not in my best interests. Uh, I'm gonna have to though, because if I if I don't destroy it, the platform's gonna get in the way. That's a shame. I'm sorry, Mr. House. All right, cool. And then they can turn around. Just nope. Okay. <laughs> and then they can turn around. Let's try that again. Just come on. I hate corners. Come on. Turn around. Up. Oh, well, at least they upgraded the road. <laughs> um, right. I, I'm having a bit of a tricky time doing this, to be honest with you. It's kind of hard sometimes. Just to get it to uh, to go where you want to go. All right, keep it flat though, please. There we go. That's right. There we are. And then we can just bring that into into that. There. there we go. Nice. Uh, we'll chuck a quick checkpoint down on there, and then the drop-off point can be just there. Perfect stuff. All right. Cool. All that's left to do now is actually to do the lines. I don't really want to do a road this way because that's going to be mega expensive. So it looks like this is our only option. So we can come up here, we can go down this road, which is actually quite a, a good, good sturdy road that I built a while ago. And then we can come off this road, go around here a bit, and bring this down here. Why, is that a hill? I'm not quite sure why there's such a high price there, to be honest with you. I'll stay away from it, because it is high. Uh, I'm not sure, anyway. Bring this down to the coffee place. This will obviously be a train at some point. I just don't have the money for it at the minute. And we'll bring this down there, and the entrance is on this side. So if we get a building, I can actually do what I did all the way back in episode 1, which is to get a 30 meter platform, spin it round, and then, oh, wrong side, this side, there we go. And I can actually just connect the platform straight up to the industry. There we go, that's in. Nice. We can always expand this later and make it longer, which is always good. And we can bring this road down that way. And then this road in to there. We don't have enough money. Oh my god, we're 10k off. Come on! Give me money. There we go. <laughs> okay, that's cool. All we have to do now is chuck a couple of routes on there. So a new line from there. Make it full. That's going to this stop over here. And then to the checkpoint, but it's already doing that by itself. That's fine. So in that case, we can get rid of that checkpoint. And uh, we can call this one grinder to hub one. And we can make that one a nice coffee colour. And then in terms of our silver, we can go a new line from this platform to the cargo hub and then make that one full. And then this is going to be called sill to hub one. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's going both directions. That's not what we want to do. So after it gets to Felicity, let's add a station over at this signal here. And then now it should be going the right way. There we go. Good stuff. Okie dokie, right, that's pretty good now. And uh, then the last one's going to be tools, so we'll get a new line from... Uh, in fact, we can probably repurpose the military line, can't we? So if we go back here, just find the Mamilia line, where are we here? Weapons drop one, is it? I believe so. Uh, and then we're going to probably just drop all of this off. Um, we can go add station there. Yep, and then that's going to pick up full. And then that's going to take it down to the cargo, but... That's going to go on the wrong side of the track, so we can't be doing that. What we'll do in that case then is we'll bring it all the way around to the loop 
So we're going to go to all the way around here. We'll go to that signal there first. And that should do something. And then bring it over to Felicity drop off. And let's see, did that, did that work? Yes, it did. Awesome stuff. And then that can go back and pick up over here. Is this okay on this end? No, it's not. So first, uh, so after upper Felicity, we need to so pulling in, picking up. Uh, we should probably actually go from Felicity um, to that checkpoint and then to there just so we aren't going the extra distance with with cargo on board because obviously weight is uh, harder to to start with uh, and then that's pretty good and then all the way back over here, let's just double check because it's actually gone off i believe it has uh it's going to go before felicity so not after this one it's going to go to that one there and there we go that's that one done so that's the foundations of it but let's check back up on our army from earlier in the episode oh no it looks like lots of our guys have been killed off and there's some bandits inside our area. There's a group of my guys looking at this guy. Let's see what he has to say. Oh. My God. Wow. That is... That is a choice. So we can end all this right now if we just give up this whole island here with Mount Victory on, including Woodstock and Lauby. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do that, to be honest with you. Uh, to be honest, I don't really care about this little train here. Like, I, I'm okay losing the six-wheeler. It doesn't really bother me that much. It's uh, it's not a very powerful train. But, I mean, like, uh, it's a lot of area, a lot of space that we might be losing out on. Well then, this is where you come in. Yes, you! I want you to go to the community section on my channel and go and vote and we'll find out what happens in the next episode. Let's hope that this doesn't affect our new cargo hub that much because we might have done a lot in this episode but we still have quite a fair bit to do if we want to get the money absolutely rolling in with this amazing efficient cargo hub. Let's find out but thanks for watching and if you want to see the next video click this video right here.